Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I'm gonna show you all how to make a pasta bake this really quick and simple. We're gonna have a lot of fun in this kitchen and listen here, it's gonna taste so good. Here's what you're gonna to need to make Jeannie Young style pasta bake. You all never had this before, you better make you some. Okay, the ingredients that we have you're going to need frozen ravioli. You can find frozen ravioli that just has beef in it. You can find frozen ravioli that has beef and cheese. This one here has cheese. This one has beef. If you want to just use all beef, that's fine. You want to just use all cheese, that's fine. I'm going to use the two. Okay, I have some beautiful asparagus here that I have washed off. We're going to incorporate this to our dish. I have Parmesan cheese, grated. I also have garlic knots. Over here, I have curly parsley. We have some basil pesto. You're gonna need ranch, and I like to use buttermilk ranch, okay? And then I have a half a cup of milk. You can use heavy cream or any type of milk that you would like to use. You can see that I have a disposable pan and we're gonna bake this at 325 degrees for around about 33 minutes, okay? Oven temperatures may vary, so yours might cook a little bit longer. Just keep a nice eye on it. Here's the thing, <clears throat> you really, with this dish, only thing you have to do is get your ravioli hot and bubbly. All right, and you want to cook your garlic knots, and we all know that the garlic knots are not are not going to take a long time to cook. You just want to get them nice, beautiful, and golden brown. So here's the first thing that we want to do. First thing that I want to do, make sure that your hands are impeccably clean. If you all haven't seen my video that I did this morning, you have to check it out. It was amazing. It was a lot of fun. And that zucchini bread is amazing. I cannot wait to eat my third piece of zucchini bread. <laughs> it was that good. It really took me back to old memories of being with my grandma, walking in her house and seeing that she's either making zucchini bread or there was some for me to eat. And so that really took me back. There's nothing like a good old memory. What I'm gonna do with these asparagus, is you see I cut the woodsy end off of the asparagus, and now I'm just gonna go in, and I'm gonna chop some up just like so, okay? You can do long, long pieces if you want, or you can make it, you know, just like I'm doing. And you don't have to use this much asparagus. If you're a person that says, I don't really like asparagus, then you don't have to use asparagus. If you like um, stream beans or corn, feel free to use that, okay? Possibilities are endless when you're doing something like this. You know, it's almost like a casserole, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I wanna set these beautiful asparagus into my bowl, okay? I hope that you all are having a beautiful day today. I hope that you all are having an amazing work week as well. I'm so excited for this recipe. My mouth is watering. I seen this recipe somewhere and I said, I have to make it. I have to make it. I'm doing it a little bit different, Jeannie Young style, by putting the um, asparagus in. But I'm so excited, my goodness. Okay, and then I wanna take some of this beautiful fresh parsley, and you don't need a whole lot, okay? The reason why you don't need a whole lot of the parsley is because we have that pesto. And parsley is in with your pesto. I just want this extra pop of freshness in with my recipe. So I'm gonna put just a little bit, and a little bit goes a long way when you're using fresh veggies. Absolutely, and it makes it nice and beautiful as well. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we want to open up our basil. Your basil pesto, uh, I said our basil, 
you want to open up your pesto when you open it up there's going to be about this much oil in the top and that's normal that is definitely normal for a jarred pesto just take a spoon and you just want to give it a nice whirl okay just mix it up just like so and you're ready to go okay with the basil you use as much basil as you would like to use I'm going to use four tablespoons. That's what I'm going to use to put into our dish. And if I feel like I need a little bit more, then hey, listen here. I'm going to put some more in there, okay? There's Prince and Polo. You all wanted to see him. Say hi. Say hi to YouTube, guys. Princey, look over here, honey. Polo, look. Say hi, guys. All right, you all have been asking for Prince and Polo. You can see behind them that there's two pieces of ice on the floor. They love to play with ice, and I love to give them ice. They think it's so funny to play with the ice. They're not going to do it on camera for you all, <laughs> but they love to play with it. Okay, so then, go ahead and put you some pesto in. This pesto is nice and strong. It has an amazing taste. I'm going to put, put four tablespoons. I think four tablespoons is just enough and maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Perfect. Just like so. Okay, everybody. Dakota has just came home from school and he wanted to say hi. <laughs> He's so happy to see the puppies and I'm sure they're happy to see him as well. Okay, so then we have our pesto in. We're going to put a half a cup of milk or you can use half a cup of heavy cream. It's really up to your discretion. And then we're going to measure out some ranch, ranch dressing, if I can get the bottle open. Okay, everyone, you can see that I've measured out one and a half cups of buttermilk ranch. Okay, just like so. Hooey! This right here is going to be amazing, and I'm so excited to taste it. Ooh, I'm so excited. Now, preheat your oven 325 degrees if you haven't done that yet. Mix it up. You're mixing up your buttermilk ranch, you're mixing up your pesto, and those amazing asparagus. Now, as far as salt and pepper, salt and pepper is up to your discretion. I feel like this is gonna be flavorful enough because you know how much flavor ranch packs. Ranch packs a lot of flavor, and so does pesto. Okay, so I don't feel like I need any salt and pepper right now, but I will give it a taste, okay, before I put this in the oven to see if I feel like I need a little bit of salt and pepper, and if so, then I'll do that. Okay, let me taste this. Oh, it's, oh my goodness, it's so good. Mm -hmm. That right there, that's right up my alley. Right up my alley. We're going to take some of our Parmesan, put it right in there just like so. Put a nice amount in. Don't, don't get stingy with the Parmesan. All right? The dogs are barking. <laughs> they see my husband. They love him half to death. They know that he's getting ready to go outside and cut the grass. And they do not want him to go outside. <laughs> they love him. And I love their little barks. They are just the sweetest thing. And they're really blessings to our family. Yes, they are. So we have our mixture. Very quick. Very simple. Really easy. Set it aside. Okay, now we'll keep this parsley because we might use it a little later because we definitely are going to put some more Parmesan cheese on as a finish to our dish. Okay, so here's where everything happens so fast from here. Okay, everyone, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and start to layer our ravioli. Okay, this here is the beef you want to make somewhat of a layer just like so 
Then we're gonna take, so that's the whole bag of the beef. Then we're gonna take our beautiful mixture and you want to just lay it on top of this amazing ravioli, okay? Just like so. Really easy, right? I can't wait to try this. I know it's gonna be amazing. I've never made it, but I tell you one thing, it looks good, right? Who doesn't love frozen ravioli? Who doesn't love ranch? And who doesn't love asparagus? Especially when we're talking about bacon and garlic knots in this bad boy, you better believe it's gonna be good. And Gina Young can recognize a good recipe from anywhere, you hear me? Okay, everyone, so we have one layer done. Take your other bag, put it right on top, just like so. And listen here, if you wanted to mix them up, you can. I'm just gonna do beef on the bottom, cheese on top. You can mix yours, however you wanna do would be just fine. I tell you what, it's all going down the same place and it's gonna be good. Ooh -wee, look at that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, just like so. You wanna try to make it nice and even. Okay, so I'm just patting it down somewhat. Just like this. Amazing. Now, next thing we're gonna do, take you some more of this amazing sauce. And this sauce should give you the perfect amount to cover up our pasta. My mouth is watering, guys. Let me know anytime during this video if your stomach started rumbling and your mouth started watering. Because <laughs> my stomach is rumbling and my mouth is a watering. All right, get all that goodness out. We don't want to waste anything. All right, we need all of that. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in here as well. Okay, amazing. Just wanna get every piece of the pasta nice and coated. All right, there we go. So now, next thing we're gonna do. Get you some garlic knots garlic bread sticks, whatever you want to use. Put you some on there. Just like so. Here's what I'd like to do. I got to thinking about this. Come on, Gina, think, 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 think. Here's what I want to do. I love when my brain does this. You know, when, you, when I really study to think about something, I want this to cook for a nice amount of time because I don't want any of this to be cold. I want this to get nice and hot and bubbly, and I want the inside of my raviolis to get nice and warm. Once I see that this part is done, then I'm gonna come back and put these garlic knots on, because we know these garlic knots are only gonna take about six to seven minutes, you know, maybe at the, at the most eight minutes to get nice, beautiful, and golden brown. So I don't wanna put them on yet, because they'll get too dark. Put this in the oven, and then we'll come back and I'll let you know how long I cook this before we put our garlic knots in. Be back. Okay, so what I did, I just put three tablespoons of butter. I just took three tablespoons of butter. I just chopped it up into little pieces and put little pads of butter all over the top of our dish. This is not covered. You don't have to cover it, okay? That pasta bake looks amazing. And I'm telling you one thing, it smells delicious. It's starting to get nice, hot, and bubbly. And I'm trying my best to resist from taking one of those raviolis right out. I'm gonna resist it though. <laughs> okay, everyone, so then, I let this cook for 40 minutes. Look how hot, let me turn my light on. Look at this, look how hot golden brown and bubbly. This is what it should look like. And if you feel like yours looks a little bit dry on the top, just take a little bit of your uh, pesto and a little bit of your ranch, a little tiny bit of milk, mix it together and pour it on the top like I had to do. Okay, so I put just a little bit on, all right? So then, watch this. Now we put 
the garlic knots on. Kind of push them down a little bit because you want them to soak up that amazing sauce that's in there. Feel free to put as many of these garlic knots as you want to use, okay? I'm just going to use six, but you can do more, okay? You can put them all around. You can put them on top. You know, you can cover the whole top. We're going to heat these until our garlic knots are nice and golden brown. We're going to come back. I'm going to say a prayer. We're going to taste this. I'm going to let you all know what this tastes like. Okay? Meanwhile, I am eating this amazing zucchini bread that I made earlier. Look at this. Look how amazing. It's evening time and I've already had four pieces. It's so good. Mmm. 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 Okay, everyone. Our garlic knots are done. Look at this amazing dish. Put you a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top of your garlic knots. Absolutely. And then you want to take you some and put it right on top. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you, Jesus, for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. We thank you, Lord, for the roof over our head, the food and the love that you give us daily. Amen. Let's dig in. Like right now, I can't wait any longer. Hooey, look at that. That's going to be some good eating. And it was so easy, so easy to make. Look at that. A pile of cheese on. Why not? Let's make us a plate. I have a spoon here. Oh, my word. Look at this. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Think about that beef ravioli, that cheese ravioli, this creamy ranch sauce. This right here is going to be a winner for sure. I'm pretty sure it is. I know a good recipe when I see one. Let's see, I feel like I need a spoon. Look at it. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome videos. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know about this channel and what Jeannie Young is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's dig in. I'm go oh, this one right here Love is you. calling my name. This is calling my name. Look at it. Look at the steam coming out. Oh, this is, oh, <laughs> just, I'm just waiting on it to cool down a little bit so I don't burn the daylights out of my mouth. Oh my goodness. And here's the thing. I want, I also want asparagus. I want the asparagus on my bite. <laughs> I have to, please cool down quickly. Please cool down quickly. I gotta put my plate down so we can try this. I gotta set the plate down for a second. And what we're gonna do, look at this, that's the bottom. There's a top, we're gonna take a bite, take a bite out of that garlic knot, all right? Mm, mm, mm-hmm, mm, 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 delicious. And then take a bite out of this amazing beef or cheese filled pasta. Coat it with ranch and pesto. It doesn't get any better. Taste that. I'm digging in, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. Wow, that's so good. Packed with flavor. Amazing. Let me taste these asparagus. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. You all never had this before, you better make yourself. Because if you don't, you are truly missing out. Mm. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. But not before we take one more bite. One more bite, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Doggone it, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. -mm.